the long-awaited deck building challenge <laughs> set booster pre-release versus regular pre-release kit pre-release. Um, by the way, I decided <laughs> I decided that my box topper card gets to be my date stamp foil. So you're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. All right. <laughs> Very good. All right. Um, so, do you want to cut here for me, Drew? Yeah. Just uh, just do about half. How about me? Uh, one card, please. And we also have special guest Hunter providing mm. peanut gallery humor. I haven't come up with any yet. So please just ruin him in the comments section. Make him feel real bad. <laughs> um, should we roll a d20? You're not going to hurt my feelings. It's not hard. Yeah, not hard. yeah we can roll. I got a 14. <laughs> 15. Oh, that's a tie. It's a roll off. Seven. All right. 16. Okay, so you will be going, well, it's your choice, actually, 1v1. Here we are, the commander players playing 1v1. What do you go want to first. do? first. Okay, so you want to go first, so let's draw some first. cards. First. Yes. To get this right, it's uh, best two of three, yeah, and then we, yeah. uh, we're on to the next round. Yeah, that sounds good. Very good. All right, now to remember what I chose to, to put in this deck. All right, so I picks, will uh, mulligan. Yeah, I'm going to also do that. Could have had that. something to do with a party. They, they really hit it hard with the party. Hunter, are you, are you fake mulliganing right now? Uh, no, I, I like what I've got. Okay. You're going to fake keep? I'm going to fucking keep it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kim. Can we cuss on this? No, there's, gonna... chil there's children who watch us okay. drink whiskey. And, uh, let's, let's make sure you, it, you can edit most of what I say, am I right? Bleep, bleep. You got this, I believe in you. All right, give me another cut. Um, there's going to be, there's going to be no editing of this. It's going to go on as if it were live. So let's say it's live. We're live. Uh, Drew, go for 90%. Okay. And then give me a cut. Well, and do about, and do about take five off the top. One, two, three, four, five. Those are on the bottom. All right, so this is competitive. We don't get a free mulligan, so get excited for that. Right. Right. What are your thoughts this time around? I'm keeping this. So I will also keep. Um, and we each put one on the bottom. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm choosing that card. Okay. All right. Lead us off when you're ready. I will. I will. I'm going to go ahead and forest and pass. Okay, I will draw. I'm playing this beautiful celestial colonnade, my box topper. <laughs> As my land for turn, it enters tapped, can tap for either white or blue, and has a 5 plus Azorius until end of turn it becomes a 4-4 four, four white and blue elemental creature with flying and vigilance until end of turn that's still a land. What a very handsome man land. What a very, thank you. Have you seen the, the wings? They're like wave wings. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought, I thought it was a tidal wave. It's both. Nice. The flavor. Nice. Uh, upon that, I will pass the turn. 
Now, at least I know uh, your colors. All right. Hunt, uh, you know two of them. Draw. Is it Lisa Zorius? <laughs> <laughs> the boys in blue. All right. I will. I'll play a planes tapping two for the Kazandu Necropot. Nectar pot. It is a one three insect with land. One three insect with landfall. Whenever land is battlefield under my control, I gain a life. And I will pass turn on that. Okay, that seems cool. Alright, I will untap. Similarly I will draw. Landfall life gain. Isn't my favorite thing, but here we are. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that card? Kazandu. <clears throat> he played Nectar Pot. Kazandu. Kazandu. Yeah. Nectar Kazandu Pot. Nectar Pot. Got it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna play a mountain for turn. And now you know three of my colors. Oh Lord. <laughs> Lord. I'm gonna tap for blue and a red for Kaza the Royal Chaser. That is a one two he uh. uses a flying in haste. That the next instant or sorcery spell I cast costs X less or X is the number of wizards I control as I tap and resolve that ability. However, in this particular All instance, right. He's going to uh, go to combat and tap and resolve, attacking you for one in the air. All right, I'll take one. And that will be the end of my turn. Okay, untap, draw. All right, my land for turn is going to be this lovely flip land. Ooh. It comes in as a land? Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, what's it? the name? Yeah, what's the name of it so I can know what it is for the next game? Vastwood Thicket. Mm, that's, a, that's a joke, just... Fast wood fortif fortification fortification slash, slash thicket. That's the one. Fortin for for All right, yep. got it. Yeah, got it, got it. I brought it up on the screen. We're good to go. All right, I'm going to tap two for the Morasa root grazer. Two, three, vigilance. Put a basic tap and put a basic land card from your hand on the battlefield. Tap and return target basic land you control to its owner's hand. How on earth do you spell Marasa? So I will. M U R A S A. M U R. -A -S -A. M -U -R. Marasa. Oh, brute. And I forgot. I uh, get the one for the land. Did you say you kicked it? Marasa Root Grazer. No, he did not um, say that. I'm sorry, I'm looking at Mitre Pot. Kick it. There's no kicking. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing at you for one. I will declare no blocks. Take one. Anything else? And pass my turn. Okay. I will untap and draw. I'm going to play a mountain.
We pay one for a sneaking guide. It's a Calvin Rogue 1-1 one, one with a 2 in tappet ability. Target creature with power 2 rails can't be blocked this turn. Okay. And at that point, I will pass the turn. Alright, I'll untap and draw. I will play a planes for turn, triggering my landfall. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay a green and three. To kick this Reclaim the Waters. Kicking it. Search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into my hand, and I did kick it, so I get two basic land cards instead of one. Reclaim the <laughs> Waters or Wastes? What? Is it Reclaim the Wastes? The. W yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I find basic land cards waste. with this. Yeah, Because yeah. the Eldrazi are gone, so the wastes are gone. I'm reclaiming them. Sure. Good good work, good yeah. flavor. I'll so I'm going to find a forest. I got a forest and a plains that will go into my hand. Yep. And then I will... Uh, you want to give me a cut? Sure. Go with uh, 75%. So James, you has a, you have a wizard and a rogue. I sure do. It looks like you're closest to a an actual party as yeah. far as the mechanic goes. I'm winning the party party. Okay. Um What are your power toughnesses again, James? You got the... A 1-2 and a 1-1. A 1-1 one, one. and a 1-2, is that correct? That is correct. Okay. I will go to combat. Right, I'd like to respond to moving your combat step. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pay a white and a one more for a pressure point, which is an instant that says tap target creature draw card. And I'm going to tap your uh, Mabel Gazer. Vigilant creature. In response, in response I, I'm going to tap. I'm In response to that, I'm going to tap it and put a basic land card onto the battlefield. Sure. Uh, and I will draw a card off my second part of my instant. And I get a land. I get a life for uh, landfall. Yes. And that's that. I believe so. I will actually declare no attackers. Sounds good. Uh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Finger on, finger on. One sure. one, and a no one two. two. Yeah, I will actually. I will swing at you with my 1-3. Okay, I'll block with my 1-2. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tap my last forest, second main, that is, and put this equipment onto the battlefield. Cliffhaven, tight sail. Uh... So when it enters, I can attach it to target creature I control. 
Uh, egg game's flying. This? I'm actually going to attach it to this BC here. Is this second main? Sorry, I missed what's happening. So, Clip Creek. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I said second main. Okay, I thought, I thought we were still in combat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and... No, no. Sorry. Okay, sure. No, combat your... resolved. Sorry, I said... I thought I said it. Okay. okay. Second main. I'm going to put... I'm going to give him flying to this dude, and sure. I will pass turn on that. Okay. Yeah, righty. I will untap and draw. I'm going to play a planes as my land for turn. I'm going to cast red, red, and two for a two discounted Shatter Skull Minotaur. It is a 5-4 yeah. Minotaur Warrior with haste that costs one less to cast for each creature in my party. As I was casting it, I had one wizard, one rogue. Two discount. Two discount. Yeah. The party mechanic, it's real. It's happening. Um, it has haste, so I will go to combat and I'm gonna attack you for seven. Alright. I have no blockers and no mana. Yeah. We'll take seven. So I will be passing my turn at that point. Over to you. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, question, the question was, how many cards do you have in hand? I have three. I have two. Okay. I have two. Then please continue. All right. Untap. Draw. All right, I will pay uh, two and one for Nahiri's Binding, and I'll put that on your Minotaur. Okay. Nahiri's Binding. So it can't binding. attack or block, and activated abilities can't be activated. Okay, I will put... Uh, where's my random old token thing? It is bound. That's one of my. That's one of my favorite cards. Nice little common. It's a really good little common. Yeah. Turn off a planeswalker. It's not the worst. All right. All right. Um, I will play planes for turn uh -huh. and gain a life. And then I will move to my combat step. Uh -huh. uh, there we go. And I will attack you with both creatures. Two three okay. flyer and a one three. I have no blockers, I will declare no blocks and take three. Okay. I will second main. I will tap this creature and play a planes from my hand and gain a life. And with that, I have no cards in hand. I will pass my turn. Okay. I would like to remind our audience that we've both been drinking. <laughs> I don't believe it. No, I've been here for most of the time. I believe that. I will untap. It's fantastic. Time. Yeah. And draw. We also played two games of Commander before this. 
It did, and one of them was very long. Um, That's I'm what gonna, she said. Nice. I'm going to play an island as my land for turn. I will... move to combat and I'm going to attack with my my 1-1 one, one rogue. That's my only attack. And I will take the 1. Uh, no trickery. Uh, I'm going right. to tap 3 and double blue for a Merfolk Falconer. Which, if I can pull it up here, my own card. It's a 4 4 flyer. That's a. has a kick spells ability, I think. Here it is. 4 4 Flying Merfolk Wizard, whenever you cast a kick spell, scry 2. At that point, I'll pass the turn. Okay. So, okay. Alright, I will untap. And draw. I will play green. Or I will tap a green. I'll play Swarm Shambler. It is a fungus beast. Enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Whenever a creature I control with a plus one, plus one counter becomes the target of a spell an opponent controls, create a green insect creature token. I can pay one and tap to put a plus one, plus one counter on the Swarm Shambler. There is that, and so you've got a 4-4 four, four flyer now. We do, and a 1-2 flyer. I'm going to go ahead and pass my turn on that. Okay. I will untap. I will draw. Okay. Have no no cards in hand or one card in hand? No cards in hand. Okay, three after just drawing. Alright, I'm gonna go with Is this still the first game? Yeah. You Man, yep. it? Yep. Yeah. He did. He did get disconnected for a good few minutes in there, but you know. Um, I'm gonna go with three and a red for Rockslide Sorcerer. That is a three-three human wizard. Whenever I cast an instant sorcery or wizard, it deals one damage to any target. So then, I'm going to pay. One red for this instant spike field hazard, which is deals one damage to any target. If a permanent dealt damage this way, would die this turn, exile instead. So, uh, let's see, your swarm shambler is if it becomes a Target of a spell, is that right? Alright, uh, uh... 
When it be when a creature you control with a count plus one plus one counter becomes the target of a spell an opponent controls, I get to create a insect creature token. Okay, so I'm going to cast the spike field hazard, uh, targeting your. Uh, Yeah, it's going to target your swarm sh sh shambler. Okay. Oh, I think I've got a insect token here. And I mean, don't don't go digging too far because off the cast, you'll make a thing, and then my other creature's ability will deal one damage to any target. I'm going to ping down, ping down the token. Mm hmm. Okay. So your Shambler gets exiled and the token dies. Okay. And... I'm going to go to combat. And I'm going to attack you for four in the air. Because you have a two, three, right? Yes, I do. Okay. It's a 4-4. Four, four. It is. I'm going to move to block it, mm -hmm. but before damage is dealt, I'm going to tap it, returning uh, that to my hand, the forest. Sure. And so that will That'll, die. Yep. All right. And I will then move to my instep. Okay. I will move to untap. I will draw. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want to see when I did that. Okay. Is it another forest? Nope. I got a planes. <laughs> uh, I will gain a life. Well, I might as well pay two to equip that there. And you're you want at the one flyer? Untapped, yes. It's a one two. It's a two three. It's, a, it's mine's a one two. Yours is a uh, one three. No. Yours a, yeah, I got a 1-3. You got a 1-2? Yes. Yeah, so that makes no difference. All right, I will uh, I'll pass turn on that. Okay. I will untap. I'll draw. I will. No, that doesn't work. I will. Sure. I go with white, blue, one more to bring out. Linvala, the sh Shield of Seagate. Angel right, because just just curious, how many rares are on the board right now? Uh, on the board, two with a mythic land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you if you don't ever, don't ever agree that the twelve card set boosters still are. Are pretty damn good if you want to you want to sit them against. Uh, I mean, you have seven booster. seven rares in your six packs, right? Uh, I'd have to look, but yeah, <laughs> probably. Since I think I think I might have gotten the land I couldn't use. Fair enough. <laughs> um, all right, so this thing I do not have a full party. I'm missing a cleric. 
However, I can still sack her in some speed to do hexproof or indestructible form of stuff. Um, All right. But instead, what I'm going to do is pay one and a color or two, and tap my rogue. So that way my creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. I'm choosing my other wizard guy. So then I will attack with a 4-4 flyer, a 1-2 flying unblockable, and a 3-3 three, three on the ground. I'll take 8. That's 8, right? That is 8. You are correct. At that point, I will pass the turn to you. Untap. Draw. Man, I really want to draw a cleric just for like natural party. That'd be so good. White and three for Prowling Felidar. Two three cat beast with vigilance. Whenever a land enters battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on prowling felidar. Sure. I will play a forest. Put a counter on felidar. Gain a life. Okay. Untapped. What do you have? Uh, my three three angel. And I guess technically this bound thing is untapped. But it can't attack or block. Yeah. Yeah, 3-3 three, three angel. Can't do anything. Alright, I will actually, though, pay 2 to re-equip here. And I will pass my turn. Okay. I will untap. At least I got one extra trigger putting that land back in my hand that worked out. <laughs> you did. I've drawn. How big is your cat, friend? It is now a 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four. I'm going to play a Plains as my land for turn. I will... Three, four. Crap, did we start timing this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to get to time of the round. But there is a timer. I've been recording for 35 minutes, but that okay, includes. Good. Yeah. All right. Um, is it James' turn? It is. Yeah. Nine minutes. All right, I'm going to go with double white and one. For your favorite card, Drew. Nahiri's Binding. Rat Bastard. I'm going to bind your cat. Okay. Then I'll this go to combat. My favorite card. I said it was a good card. Now I don't like it anymore. <laughs> now I don't, even, I don't even want it. Uh, then I'll go to combat and attack you for four, five, eight flying, and three on the ground. All right. Um, well, I'll block the three on the ground with my little insect dude here and yep. take eight. Okay, and then I'll pass it over to you. I have no cards in hand. Um, two life. I will untap. Draw. Oh, look, I can actually put my Nahiri's Binding card now on mine. And then, yeah, I did the same yeah, thing with mine. <laughs> yeah, so what you did there. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, oh, better, better visuals yeah. for a lovely community who like and subscribe our videos. Yeah, and I will go ahead and scoop. Good game. Okay. All right, for game two, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first again. All right. Please tell me you're going to edit out our shuffling. <laughs> no way. That's where all the banter is. Ah. Uh, Hunter, start bantering. <laughs> <laughs> Turn 
Perfect. All right, so for the purposes of editing, uh, round two will begin. Drew has Mulligan down to six and is going first. Ready when you are. Well, I haven't actually got around my... There we go. Now we're down to six. Okay. All right, first, no draw. I will go ahead and play one of those fancy new tap lands and in the battlefield. Which one is it? And pass turn. That's that vast wood thicket again, same one I played last time. Okay. Nice. I cleared my little sideboard for in the interest of fairness since you really couldn't just have a computer hiding out. But alright, here we go. There it is for people at home. That's what you just played. Okay. <laughs> I will click on my screen, draw a card for turn, and then I will play the best pun in Magic, Mountain Pass. Yeah, toss that Mountain Pass. I will insert my thicket. Draw. I will plane and pass. <coughs> Okay, I will draw for turn. That's enough noises out of you, Hunter. This is bad, that, that's bad audio. <laughs> I'm going to play an island. I'm going to tap two for a uh, grow tag bug catcher, which is a 1 2 goblin warrior with trample, which whenever it attacks gets plus and plus O oh for each creature in your party. Alrighty. Doesn't create itself relevant. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Okay, I will draw. I will play a forest. And I will pass the turn. Pookie dookie. I will untap and draw. I will play a planes for turn. I will I'm going to pay three for an ardent electromancer. Uh, which is a 3 2 human wizard. When it enters the battlefield, I get to add red for each creature in my party, which is two. So I'm going to use both of those mana for. Royal Eruption, which is deals three damage to any target who is kicked, deals five instead. Uh, not kicked. So I'm going to deal three damage to your face. Ow. Oh. Erupting, Erupting in my face. face. Never a good time. <laughs> Some people pay good money for that. Phrasing. <laughs> uh, then I will go to combat. And this guy gets to be plus two, so I'm going to attack you for another three. I'll take three. And then I will pass it over to you. Alright, I'll draw. I will play a forest. I will tap a green and three. For Jiraga Visionary, and when it enters the battlefield, it is a 3 2 Elf Wizard. When it enters the battlefield, I can draw a card. What's the first word on that? Jiraga. Oh, I found it. J -O -R 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 -R. Okay. And. 
pass my turn. Okay. I'll untap and I will draw. Was that the <clears throat> was that the visionary that you played, Drew? Yes, it was. Like a visionary. Okay. I'm gonna play an island for turn. And I'm going to go to combat. And I will attack with a pair of three twos, one of which has trample. A pair of three twos, one of which has trample. I will block the trampler with my own three two. Okay. So I take four? Uh, yes, that is correct. Second main, I'm going to go with red, blue, and one more for Umara Mystic. That is a Merfolk Wizard 1-3 Flyer. Whenever I cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, it gets plus 2, plus 0 until the end of the turn. And then I'll pass the turn. Alright, one tap. One tap. Draw. Draw. Play planes for turn. Planes for turn. No, I don't even know. Three. And the green. Or did that reclaim the waters again? Kicking it. For one of each. Those will go in my hand. And give me a cut. Uh, zero, zero cards from the top. Okay. And I will pass turn on that. I will untap and draw. I'm going to play an island for turn. I'll go with red for spike field hazard. I'm going to deal one damage to your face. Okay, okay. That will trigger my Merfolk, which is riding a flying mana ray. Pretty sweet. So it's now a 3 3 ton of turn. So I will attack you with a pair of threes. I will take six. I, I take six. firmly apologize to the viewers. I swear to God, I build usually a lot better than this. Ugh. This is. This is uh, how I how I got my terrible nickname in England. Well, not terrible nickname, but self inflicted. What was uh, what was your self inflicted nickname? Uh, the the beast. Because uh, that's not terrible. Well, it's, it's because I told someone I was a beast in limited. <laughs> in my defense, there was a pub involved. And it was said. In, it was said in the confidence of shit talk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they called me a beast from then on, uh, deservedly. That, I'd say yeah. so. Um, and then yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right, I tap, I draw. All right. Those are both fly are those both flyers? No, only one of them's a flyer. Okay. It's the one that gets bigger when I play stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Let's journey to oblivion that flyer. Ooh. Get the heck out of here. It's taking a trip. Take a trip to exile. So that leaves the battlefield. 
I'm going to play forest for turn. And then I'm going to tap said forest for turn for the return of the swarm shambler. So that'll be there. Okay. Okay. I swarm, will pass her. The swarm shambler. Swarm shambler. Yeah. Who knows to be able to say that while drunk? Mm -hmm. All right. So I will begin my turn untapping and drawing. So my dude is exiled, huh? Yes. Till that enchantment leaves the battlefield. Till that enchantment leaves the battlefield. Okay. But if you don't block, I can just hit you for three. Uh-huh. So. Uh, I'm going to go to combat and attack you for three. I will block the three. Okay, so your thing dies. Yes, and the second, second main phase, I'm going to go with three for a seafloor stalker. That is a merfolk rogue that I can pay a bunch of mana and have it get plus and plus seven can't be blocked and it costs one less for each creature in my party which since this is currently exiled is only two at the moment so it costs two out of blue to make it plus one plus seven unblockable and I'll okay uh, a tap draw and scoop <laughs> Excellent content. Please like and subscribe for more. <laughs> Not so fast. I'm sad I didn't get to see the one cleric I had in my deck so I could have a party. It was actually kind of hard coming up with clerics. Yeah, I think the problem is that they. There's not, there's not that many of them, I think. They so I, I had blue. the Aria Captain in the deck. That would have been pretty decent. Well, do you want to tell Hunter all about your deck? I mean, come on. Let's see. I've got uh, this thing yes. here. I can get. Uh, I can give indestructible to something. Uh, I mean, I'm basically playing Wizard Burn with a splash of party. A disenchant. I like would have liked to have killed some stuff. Uh, yeah, Dauntless Survivor. Great. Well, Hunter, I built that commander deck. You you tried to build it with wizards. I did have the play gra play lands from your graveyard. Uh, Mythic. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's gonna go well in my lands deck, obviously. For sure. Yeah. Did you use uh? Oh. Uh, red, blue, and black. Was Who? it Rexus? Me? No, I have, I have white. I've got just guy. Huh. Yeah, no, that was. Which one was the commander? Which one was that? Just no commander. This is the part of the deck I just played. Oh, oh, I, you said something about commander. I know you did. Yeah, I said I tried to make it like your wizard commander deck you tried making. Yeah, no, I, I, that still hasn't come together yet. Nope. Yeah. But I have a whole lot of wizards just waiting. Just waiting. Just waiting. All right. Well, I'm shuffling. All right. Who's who? Are you, who are you playing against? I have no idea. Uh, play against James. Then if if you win, I'll play against you. We can have a three way tie. How about that? Round robin. Are you offering me a magical three way? I always like three ways. I'll do that. James, will you cut me? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do some more shuffling. Uh, go halfway. I'm going to stop this video file and start a new one. So hold up. <laughs> that, was, that last part was on video. <laughs> what was it? I didn't realize that last part was on video. Oh, yep. <laughs> Why? What would you not want to say? Your magical three-way? <laughs> yeah. Wipe in into that kind of stuff. Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> 